Hey guys, just going to do a quick video to show you the gear that I'm going to be taking with me on my through hike of the Continental Divide Trail. Alright, here's everything all laid out. This is the gear that I'll be starting with down in New Mexico. I'm starting on April 30th. And all of this stuff weighs about 10 pounds. So we'll start with the larger items. This is my quilt. It is the Enlightened Equipment 20 degree revelation. This is my sleeping pad. It's the Neo Air X Light women's version. I use the women's because I don't need the length of the men's. And this one has an R value of 3.9 instead of 3.2. That is my tarp. It is the Yama Mountain Gear Seriform two person tarp. And I will be using that with this bivy. This is the Bora Gear water resistant side zip bivy. And I really like this system of a tarp and separate bivy because I'll be able to cowboy camp when the sky is clear and I don't think it's going to rain. And then this tarp is very protective and it should be able to handle any nasty weather that I might encounter on the CDT. This is my pack. It's the MLD Profit and I'll be using it with a Nylofume pack liner. And I also have this shoulder pocket that I'll be using to carry my bear spray in grizzly country. Now moving on to the stuff that I'll be wearing. This is my hiking shirt. It's the Outdoor Research Echo long sleeve shirt. 5 inch inseam running shorts and polyester underwear. Thin nylon dress socks. Those are just my uh, hiking socks of choice. These are my shoes, the Ultra Temp 1.5 watch and my hat and sunglasses. The hat is the Outdoor Research Sunrunner hat with the neck drape. It's uh, my favorite hiking hat that I've tried. Over here I have my fanny pack which I will use to carry my camera which I'm shooting on. It is the Sony A5100 and it will also hold my phone which is an iPhone SE, a mini tripod, a Nightcore tip rechargeable flashlight, headphones, and chapstick. In the fanny pack will also be my pocket knife, which is a Victorinox Classic. Uh, I don't have that with me now though because I sent it ahead along with my trekking poles and tent stakes to New Mexico so that I don't have to worry about flying with them. Now moving on to the clothing that I'll be carrying. This is my insulated jacket, the Enlightened Equipment torrid apex jacket with the hood, my rain jacket, the Frog Togs ultralight rain jacket, Montbell tachyon wind shirt, Montbell Versalite rain pants, Lightheart gear rain mittens, they are sil nylon and I seam sealed them, fleece liner gloves, and a fleece neck gaiter which I can use um, also as a headband or an ear warmer. Um, and primarily I'll be using it at night when I'm sleeping to pull it over my eyes and nose uh, if it gets cold. And then I'll also have a head net, which I probably won't need until at least northern Colorado, and then a second pair of the same nylon dress socks. Now moving on to my food and water setup. This is just an odor-proof sack that I will use as my food storage until I get to grizzly country and then I'll be using an ursac. This is just a cold soaking jar, it's a Gatorade powder container and a little spoon. Now for my water I will have two smart water bottles, one of them with a Sawyer squeeze on it and one of them with the sport cap which I can use to back flush this if needed. And then I will have two two liter ever new water bags. And I will ditch those, or at least one of them, when I get to Colorado. I think my water system for Colorado will probably be one of these and one of these. Here I have my navigation materials. I have the Jonathan Lay maps printed on 11 by 17 paper. And then I have, and that'll be in a gallon Ziploc bag. Then I have my compass, which is the Sunto M3 Global. Uh, it has a global needle and adjustable declination, so it'll be very user-friendly. I'm trying to really work on my navigation on this trip, so that's why I have the nice compass and bigger maps. I also 
um, would like to not rely on gut hooks too much. And down here I have my two ditty bags. This is just a quart size Ziploc with my toiletry and first aid stuff. And this is a little DCF stuff sack that I just got from the Continental Divide Trail Coalition, which is pretty cool. And in there are my electronics, and I'll open those up right now and show you what's inside. So in here, I think I'll have about what you would expect. A small bag of toiletries, including sunscreen, toothbrush, hand sanitizer, Dr. Bronner's soap, and Neosporin. A little bag of repair stuff and tape. Um, in here I have a small roll of duct tape, a needle uh, that I can use with my floss for repairs, some DCF tape that I had laying around because it will stick better to most fabrics than the duct tape in case I want to make a slightly more permanent repair. And I also have some Luco tape, skin tape in there for blisters, cuts, whatever. And then I also have the patch kit for my sleeping pad, which is just some tear aid type A patches and some glue dots. I also have some floss and this little Ziploc bag, which will be my wallet, and a little bag of meds, including Advil, Imodium, and Benadryl. Also in here I have a spare washer for my water filter because the filter won't work without them and they're kind of easy to lose. I feel so cool now that I have a DCF step sack. Such an upgrade from quart size Ziploc. Nothing that you wouldn't expect in here either. A uh, inReach Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour battery, wall charger, and a lightning USB cable, and a regular USB cable. So that was the stuff I'm going to be starting with. Now I'm going to show you the stuff that I'm going to have sent to myself in Colorado. Uh, Colorado got a very high snow year this winter, so I'm expecting some pretty challenging conditions. Uh, first, the clothing. I'll be sending myself a warmer insulated jacket that I will swap for the Torrid. This is the Montbell Mirage Parka. Um, it's very warm, but still only 13 ounces. I'll be swapping out my base layer for a mid-weight polyester base layer. It's by Eastern Mountain Sports. Then I will also have mid-layers. This is just a 100-weight fleece by White Sierra. And these are just some fleece tights. Uh, they're the Rab Flux Pants. Then I will also have a fleece headband and some warm wool socks for hiking in the snow. And just a fuzzy, generic pair of socks that I will reserve only for sleeping. I will also have a second sleeping pad, a Gossamer Gear Thin Light 8th inch foam pad. Um, that'll just add a teensy bit of warmth and it'll also help prevent punctures and serve as a backup pad. And there is a Polycro ground sheet that um, is just for keeping things drier when camping on snow, which I will probably have to do more than I would like. At least I'm anticipating. Um, then there's a Camp Corsa Ice Axe and Catula K10 hiking crampons. There is a fire starting kit. There's just some cotton balls, Vaseline, and matches, although I'll probably end up using a lighter instead, actually. And down here, just some little things. Uh, those are baskets for my trekking poles, which I don't normally use, and the strap to attach my quilt to my sleeping pad more securely. Some of these choices are a little conservative, I think, particularly the hiking crampons and the jacket. But, you know, it's not hard to send things home, and if this stuff, any of it, ends up being overkill, then I'll just send it away, and it'll be no problem. All of this stuff, um, when I swap out those two things, and then add the rest of the stuff, this will add about 3 pounds or so to my base weight, so I'll be around 13 pounds for starting Colorado. I also have a pair of snowshoes, but right now I'm not planning to send these to myself, uh, because they're really heavy. And I will only have them sent if May gets a lot of snow in Colorado, and I think the snow is going to be really soft and the post holing would be really bad. But uh, I really don't want to use those. And right here I have the stuff that I'll only be using for Grizzly Country, which starts north of South Pass City in Wyoming. 
pretty standard, just an Ursac XL and a can of bear spray. And I'll carry those all the way until Canada. All right, so there you have it. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, then just drop me a comment down below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.